Well, welcome again to another podcast, Down to Earth, but Heavenly Minded. And I'm your host, Irv Risch. And before we even get started today, I just want to tell you that it's been a bad week for me as far as computers go. A lot of problems. Not only my computer, but also my server. And, uh, well, I'm not going to bother you with all my problems. I got most of them solved. But right now I'm transferring files over, so I'm not going to do a... Uh, I'm not going to use my camera today, you know, on my uh, video uh, podcast because it will run real slow because I'm transferring files over right now on my computer and things are running slow. Well, <clears throat> let's uh, just kind of get into what we're going to get into today. It's going to be story time again, and I know... The last podcast I did, I also did story time too. And uh, let me just uh, see where things are here. Okay, let's just uh, uh, let's turn this one off. All righty, here's our story. The Blood Mark Door. And uh, with that said, I am going to uh, get into our story. It was actually during a real cruel, bloody war. Uh, and there was a commander who took an oath that he would slaughter an entire population of a village in a certain town. And uh, in due course, he gathered all his violent troops up together and they headed over to this town. And they let loose on all these defenseless people. And it was a bloody battle, a bloody, bloody, uh, it was murder, basically. Well, anyway, there was a fugitive uh, seeking shelter, uh, and he spied a number of soldiers as they broke into a house and slaughtered uh, all the inhabitants of the house. And on leaving, it, they... Uh, dip something in a uh, cloth of some sort in a pool of blood, and they splashed it on the door as a sign to any of the other troops that were behind them uh, that followed, that everyone inside this house was dead, that the evil deed was done. Well, quickly he ran, uh, the fugitive ran to a large house in the center of town, where a number of his friends were concealed. They were hiding there. And breathlessly he told them what he had seen. Immediately they knew what to do. Uh, they didn't hesitate. They went right out into the backyard where a goat was tied up, and they killed the goat. And they, without delay, splattered all his blood on the door. Then they closed the door just before the soldiers rushed into the street. But when they came to the blood-marked door, they made no attempt to enter. The sword, so they thought, had already entered. While many around were slain, all within the blood-marked doors were slain. But they passed by this house. And this kind of reminds me of another story. And we find this story in, in the Bible. It was the story of the first Passover. The Lord spoke to Moses, and he said this, Speak unto the congregation of Israel, saying, They shall take to them every man a lamb, a lamb without blemish or spot, and the whole congregation shall kill it in the evening, and ye shall take uh, a branch of hispus and dip it in the blood that is in the basin and strike it on the lintel and on the sides uh, of the post with the blood. And none of you shall go out of the door of the house until morning, for the Lord will pass through to smite the Egyptians and when he sees the blood, 
the Lord will pass over the door and will not suffer to destroy, to come in unto your house and smite you. Doesn't that sound familiar? Like the story we just read? And this is all out of Exodus 12. And it goes on and it says, And it came to pass that at midnight the Lord smote all the firstborn in Egypt. And there was a great cry in Egypt, where there was not a house, where there was not one who died. Well, in Exodus twelve thirteen it says this, The children of Israel, in the shelter of the blood, were perfectly safe, for the Lord had said, When I see the blood, I will pass over you. Well, let's compare some other scripture to this story. And those same words apply in all the saving power. The first passage foreshadowed Christ, our Passover lamb, without blemish and without spot. First Peter 1, uh, verse 1, uh, 19. Who was sacrificed for us? 1 Corinthians 5, 7. On the cross of Calvary, that's where he died. His, sheltered, his shed blood had stopped the sword, the divine judgment for everyone who by faith takes shelter in it. Christ said, I am the door, and a blood was applied to our door, the Lord Jesus Christ. Have you faith applied to yourself the precious blood of Christ? Have you put yourself under the shelter? It is the only place of safety from the judgment of God. And that will soon fall on sinful, Christless world. Because he has appointed a day in that which he will judge the world in righteousness. Acts 17, verse 31. It is foolish to remain without Christ. Ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, as the lamb without blemish and without spot. First Peter 1, verses 18 and 19. You know, for God so loves the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And we all know that verse, John 3, 16. We may have boldness in the day of judgment to enter the presence of God. And we find this in 1 John 4, 17. So my question to you, my listeners, are you protected by the blood, the blood on our door, the Lord Jesus Christ? If you don't have that blood applied, there's a judgment coming. Be ready, be prepared ahead of time. Like this, uh, this man who ran to his friends and told them what had happened and asked, uh, you know, let us apply the blood to the door. And they killed the goat, and they were all safe, and judgment passed them by. Well, with this story, we see the resemblance to the first Passover and to our Passover lamb, the Lord Jesus Christ. Make sure... The blood is on the door. With that said, I'm going to end my podcast like I always do. You know, God is out here. You can find him in your Bible. And we just read a story about that. So just remember our story today, the blood mark door. With that, I am going to end my podcast. Have a great day and God bless.